Hi everyone, I'm making this video because I haven't seen any instructions on this cycle function uh, in an app called Rough Animator. I've seen people asking how to work it in App Store reviews on this app, uh, in the comments below the videos about this app, uh, but in, no one seems to have answered them, so that's why I decided to make this video. Personally, I like to use this cycle function for three kind of ta kinds of tasks. First is making static drawings flicker. Second, making loop of something while having other things moving normally and in their kind of pace. And the third one is moving or scaling things, uh, almost like tweening, but it has its limitation, limitations and you'll see them um, when I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, this part but now let's start with the first type of tasks which is flickering so i'm sure you guys know how to make text or anything else uh flicker you just draw uh, everything uh, everything twice or maybe three times um, on different frames and then copy them and paste them but uh, what cycles can be use useful for here and is eliminating this copy and paste process and I'm gonna show you how to use it here. After we're done with these three frames that we need uh, to cycle through, we add another frame, leave it empty, and then hit uh, add cycle. And as you can see, we have uh, this green colored frames here on the timeline and we can adjust the timing now that we're done with flickering let's tackle a second scenario of using cycles in rough animator uh, which is i would call it um located loop of a layer and I'm gonna show you guys what, what I mean by that in a second so what I mean by located is you can loop only a portion of your animation while having the rest static or maybe even moving in a different non-looped kind of way here I'm making a little loop of uh, star flickering just like we did with the text before here before that um, but what I'm doing different now is I'm adding another layer to the animation and I'm drawing another uh, portion of animation at the at the same canvas I also changed the setting in the cycle that said forward to I changed it to backslash forward and that made my loop go back and forth in a ping pong kind of way also please don't mind the childish doodles instead of actual drawings I was trying to make the video as fast and informative as possible and also not to complain and try to justify myself but I was sitting in a very awkward position for drawing So as far as I'm concerned, there are no mobile app, either on Android or iOS, that offers tweening functionality where you can input the starting position of your drawing and the end position of your drawing and the application does the frames in between for you. But with Cycles, Rough Animator has a potential in this area. Using this function you can scale your drawings in the matter of seconds 
make static things move around the scene. I'm showing you just basic use of cycles in this vector, but it's up to you to uh, experiment and come up with ways to minimize your work time and maximize your productivity. Keep in mind that you have to put the cycle setting in forward as opposed to backslash forward. Otherwise, you won't have the settings for positioning and scaling. Uh, what I like to do is decide to decide the duration of the movement first, and then tweak those settings watching the last frame of the cycle, so I can see the um, so I can see where my cycling drawing ends up to be positioned. Also, important thing to know if you want to animate something coming into your scene from outside of it, like this hand here the best way to do it as far as I know is to draw the whole thing in the frame first and then with the cycle make it go outwards then as for me I use a uh, Adobe Premiere to reverse it but um, any application should work as long as it allows you to go back and forth one frame by one otherwise it will make the editing a nightmare and you probably won't be able to tell where the first and the last frames of, uh, of the cycle is. This workaround is forced by the fact that you can't draw outside of the scene or canvas or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you could draw that hand outside of the frame and then bring it in using cycle, that would lessen the pain in the butt for sure. So this third part uh, is definitely the most complicated one so if you have any questions feel free to ask also if you have uh, experience of working with this app and with cycles particularly um, and you have any advice for me maybe you know more ways to put this function into use or if you disagree with me on something just feel free to leave a comment i'll greatly appreciate it thanks